Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, this is episode one of a new tutorial series on my channel, in which I'll show you how to make from scratch a cool little inventory system using Unity and C Sharp that you can easily use and implement into your RPG, survival game, or whatever other projects you're working on in need for an inventory. As you can see, I have a little dwarf character that can move around the scene and pick up items he comes across, which are then added to his inventory. He can then use the items in his inventory, for example, he can consume a health potion or some food, equip a weapon or cast a weird magic sun power. He can also drop an item by simply pressing the little red cross. So as you can see, this is pretty cool stuff, and the best part is, it's very easy to make. So with that said, let's get started. So for now, I have a very simple scene set up with my dwarf player character that can move around this cartoony environment. There's also these items lying about that I'll want the dwarf to be able to pick up, use, and of course, chuck out from his inventory if he wants. But before doing that, we need to create some simple UI. So I'll head over to create, UI and choose image. I'll now choose my square inventory sprite I made in Photoshop, which will basically act as a space slot in the player's inventory you can use to carry some item, and I'll call it slot one. And so I'll just place it at the bottom of my screen so it doesn't get in the way from what's going on in game. Now note that if you've hardly ever used Unity's UI before, I highly recommend you check out this detailed beginner guide I made on the topic. With that said, I'll create another UI image called Cross One and choose this little red cross for the image's sprite. I'll then place it here. The player will be using this to drop whatever item is in this particular inventory slot. Awesome. It's now time to do some simple programming. So I'll create a new c -sharp script called Inventory and drag and drop it onto my player character, opening up inside of Visual Studio. Here I'll make two arrays, one of type bool called is full. We'll be using this array to check whether there's already an item inside of a given inventory slot or not. And the other will be of type game object and I'll call it slots. We'll be using this to pair in the item we pick up to a given inventory slot, which will help us later on place the items nicely in the center of each inventory slot, as well as drop the item. With that done, I'll head back into Unity and add for now only one element to my is full array, since we for now only have one inventory slot. And I'll leave the box unchecked because obviously when the game starts, this slot is not full. And I'll also add one element to my slots array and I'll drag and drop this slot one object. Great. It's now time to give our player the ability to pick up these items. So I'll create a new c -sharp script called pickup and add that to my health potion pickup, for example. In it, I'll create a private variable of type inventory called inventory. And in the start function, I'll set inventory equal to the inventory component attached to the game object with a tag named player. Obviously, we'll add that tag to our player very soon. Now, I want to check when the player character collides with this pickup, indicating that it's time to add it to the inventory. To do so, I'll create the onTriggerEnter2D function that takes in a Collider2D parameter called Other. And now I can simply check whether what the pickup has collided with has the player tag. If that's the case, then we want to add this item to the player's inventory. So first of all, I'll need to check if the inventory has some empty slots or if it's already full of items. To do so, I'll make a for loop, double press tab on my keyboard to automatically generate the syntax for that loop, and run this loop a number of times equal to the number of slots in the player's inventory. Now I'll check whether the inventory dot is full of index i is equal to false, and if that's the case, awesome. That means the item can be picked up and added to the inventory. So to recap, this int i variable starts equal to zero, and so I'm checking whether the inventory slot of index zero is full or not. If it isn't, then we can add the item to that slot, and then we'll type break to stop this for loop, as well as state that this inventory slot is indeed full now. If not, the loop will continue, I will increment itself of 1, and we'll check whether the inventory slot of index 1 is full or not and so on. With that said, I now need to instantiate the item at the correct inventory slot's position. I'll basically be instantiating a UI button with the image of the item we just picked up, and upon clicking on that button, we'll be able to use it. In the case of a health potion, for example, clicking on the health potion button will result in an increase of the player's health, as well as spawn a cool little heart particle effect, for example. So I'll create a new UI image called health button, 
and drag and drop the health sprite inside of that empty slot. I'll now add a button component to this image, but for now we won't tweak any of its settings or add any on-click event to it. I'll just make sure to reset the transform position of this button, then I'll simply turn it into a prefab. Then I'll head back to our pickup script. Here we'll make a public game object variable called item button, and we'll instantiate that item button at the first inventory slot that isn't already full. For second parameter of this instantiate function, instead of stating what position I want to instantiate my button at, I can simply state that I wish this button to be parented to my inventory slot of index i. This will basically make sure that my UI button spawns at the same position as my inventory slot graphic. Then I'll type false because I don't want my button Button to be in world coordinates since we're working with UI here. Lastly, I'll destroy this pickup since the player has picked it up and added it to his inventory. So obviously, we don't want it still lying around the scene. And there we go! Now I'll head back into Unity, drag and drop my health button prefab inside of that empty item slot, and make sure to add a 2D circle collider to my potion pickup set to trigger. I'll also make sure that my player character has a 2D box or circle collider as well as a 2D rigid body. Plus, I'll add to the player the player tag. This way the collision between him and the potion will be detected and the player will pick up the item and add it to his inventory. So I'll hit play, collide with my potion and pop. You'll see the potion item appear in the inventory. And later on, all we'll need to do is add an on-click event to this potion button, getting the potion to do something. For example, give the player an extra health point. If I press pause and take a look at my hierarchy, you'll also notice how this health potion button is indeed parented to my slot 1 image. So all we'll need to do when hitting the cross is destroy all children of that slot 1 image and instantiate whatever item was destroyed this way back into the scene view to simulate the player having dropped an item from his inventory. Now, before wrapping up this first video, I'll create a few more inventory slots, simply selecting the slot 1 and cross 1 objects and duplicating those and then moving them apart. And I'll repeat that two more times. I'll not forget to set the isFool array to 4 elements instead of 1, and then I'll drag and drop in order the new inventory slots inside of this slot array. And now, if I duplicate this health portion several times, I can pick each one up and you'll see that they're added to my inventory. You'll also notice that when my inventory is completely full, I can no longer pick up any item lying about on the ground, because is full is always equal to true. As I'm at it, I'll now turn this health portion pickup into a prefab. And that will mark the end of the video. We've made some great progress today, but we still have loads to do, namely allowing the player to drop items by pressing the little red cross, collapsing and displaying the inventory, as well as get each item to do something when we click on it. In the meantime, it would be great if you practiced making more items to add to your inventory. This is really easy to do. Simply drag and drop another sprite inside the scene view. I'll call this one food pickup, for example. Then add a 2D circle collider so collisions are detected as well as the pickup script. Here, instead of drag and dropping the health button, I'll instead want to drag and drop a food button. So I'll create a new food button following the same steps seen earlier. Turn it into a prefab, and then drag and drop it inside of that button item slot. And there we go! When I collide with my chicken leg, I'll get a chicken leg item popping up inside of my inventory. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and were able to easily follow along. If you encountered some annoying coding bug that you can't solve, join the BTP Discord server, ask for help over there and I or some other developer will try helping you out. If you're having trouble with the UI, again, I urge you to take a look at my UI 101 video or just ask for help via Discord or in the comments. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, hitting the like and subscribe buttons would be so appreciated and encouraging. You can also consider supporting me financially via Patreon, like these top supporters. Alright, I'll see you in a few days for episode 2 of the Inventory Tutorial Series. Cheers! <laughs>